A lot of folks talking about this next story in just a few hours. Tickets will go on sale for Concert for Carolina. It is this huge relief concert following Helene. Luke Combs, Eric Turks are headlining performances with also having artists like Billy Strings and James Taylor there. And just yesterday, Cheryl Crow, Keith Urban and Bailey Zimmerman were also added to that lineup, so it is packed now. Mary Calkins is live outside of Bank of America Stadium where that big concert is happening October 26th, so just a couple weeks away. Mary, a lot went into pulling this concert off in just a matter of weeks. That's exactly right, Alex and Mary. So we know the concert was announced by Luke Holmes and Tepper Sports and Entertainment just nine days after Helene hit the Carolinas. And we know that all of the money raised from ticket sales will be split 50-50 between organizations chosen by headliners Luke Holmes and Eric Church. Now, both country music stars, they have strong ties in Western North Carolina, which is why they say doing this concert and helping out after uh, the devastation caused by Helene is so important to both of them. Now, David and Nicole Tepper said in a statement that when Luke Combs reached out to them about the idea of a relief concert. The Panthers owners felt compelled to open the doors of Bank of America Stadium. Now both headliners again have strong ties in the Carolinas. Luke Holmes went to App State and Boone after growing up near Asheville. Eric Church, who grew up in Caldwell County, started his music career in Western North Carolina, even playing gigs at App State. And that is why the artists say it is so important for them to give back to the communities that raised them. It's just hard to process, you know, um, seeing places that, you know, you hung out as a child or, you know, places that you went to your friend's weddings at just almost cease to exist in some way while still being there um, is, is really unfathomable for me. This is not a, a month's thing. This is a year's thing to rebuild what the infrastructure in the community there is. We've got everybody's attention right now, but in a few months, it's still going to be really important that we think about rebuilding um, what was uh, what we remember as Western North Carolina. Now we're told the money raised by Concert for Carolina will be split 50-50 between Combs and Church's Chief Cares Foundation. Combs portion will go to the Samaritan's Purse, Mana Food Bank, and Second Harvest Food Bank of Northwest North Carolina. Church says his Chief Cares portion that will go toward helping established charities and organizations. Now you can get your tickets here at the box office this morning at 10 a.m. You can also buy them online and we have confirmed that there will be no additional fees or anything when you check out online. So it's going to cost you the same whether you do it here in person or online. But do keep in mind there is a limit of eight tickets per person. Reporting live in Uptown Charlotte, Mary Calkins, WBTV on your side. Mary, thank you. Hey, another reminder about a way you can help this weekend. Join us, WBTV, partnering with Queen City Audio, Video, and Appliances and No Child Hungry to help our Western North Carolina neighbors. It is hope for the high country. Scan that QR code there on your screen. While all of the volunteer sites are filled for Saturday, they still need folks on Friday to set up and to clean up on Sunday. You can also donate some much-needed items, so just scan that QR code for more.